Hey guys, this is the branch vlog for 0 0.1.9.5, the, the lighting one. Usual thing, go through each one. I'll do my best to keep it in order and not yammer. Okay, so, cafeteria level. The whole idea of this branch is to move lighting from version 1 to version 2. If you see my sprite videos, I discuss versioning, and I've I've migrated that into just general practice. So version one is like first draft. Version two is touching up a bit. Version three is it's nearly there, but it needs some polish to it. And version four is like polish ready. Um, there, there should never be a version 5, let's put it that way. So in, in sprites, that would be 7. Then, oh, version 1 was 35 by 35 pixels, I think. Yeah, and then version 2 was 70 by 70. Version 3 was 140 by 140. So that's the square. As you can imagine, only sprites aren't squares. So they're not true 70 by 70s or 140 by 140s. But that's like... The availability of the pixel space in terms of non sprite assets yeah it's just like what i've just said so cafeteria because there is a window i use the rectangle light so you see like that uh, the the main thing you'll notice is the shadows and if you watch that Oh, was it like lighting switch version 2 video a couple of videos back not the branch vlogs but the like the nifty features playlist I talk about you see the shadows change how I, I coded the the light switch to when the lights are off essentially if we look to the left look to the, the right when spotlights and point lights are off, use the rectangle light, use the light and the shadows of the rectangle light. When the spotlights or the point lights are on, so light switch on, still use the rectangle light, but don't use the rectangle light shadows. So, because interior, interior lights would drown out external shadows. Uh, I think I think that's right. I, I can't. I, I should know. That's like real life, isn't it? But <laughs> yeah, feels right. Um. So cafeteria two, um, light in version two for cafeteria has a window, so it has a rectangle light. If we go to the storeroom, where there are no windows, there is an ambient light. I have not named it. I really, 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 really should. So, you know, I'm going to do it now. Should have done it before I copied and pasted it. I said to myself I should have done it. Didn't do it. Ah, oh, I can just press F2. Ambient. Oh, I've just got ambient. So, what this means is it's completely not involved. Oh, to the light switch. But you see, rather than it being pitch black, I do. I need to get rid of the shadows actually because that just looks that doesn't look right. One sec, one sec. Ah, this is where this these vlog things really these branch vlogs really come in handy because it's like me testing it. There we go. There we go. So you've got your light and you get your shadows, that's your interior light, your light switch on, light switch off, it's like your ambient light. It just so you can actually see what you're doing so you know it's not pitch black okay save that so that is storeroom we go to kitchen similar thing oh he's doing this daft bug he did this before you know there we go don't know what that is i press it uh, escape and it gets rid of it I did it once yesterday so let's just change these to ambient, yep. Pretty 
show that's the ambient one we'll soon see yeah yeah because I'm not causing shadows okay cool so yeah again a concept of if there is no window it's not rectangle light for version 2 so it's ambient light for version 2 and yeah we will be moving to perspective or at least have a toggleable option for perspective because i did something really cool with the lights on that last video so that is kitchen it's hallway hallway does need a fair bit more love but in terms of a version two it's okay for now um took some of the lights out the point lights there is the the rectangle light in there and that would have been better there and there yeah looks, that's about right so we play it there's no light switches i haven't got the key card logic done on the widget yet if you look at the shadows I did it yeah I managed it nice feet sync yeah so you can tell which bits had more love which bit hasn't had more love um, the shadows, I believe it's to do with like the range. I can't remember if this is just an orthographic thing or whether it's uh, it's like a sprite thing. I need to investigate, but yeah, that's why the shadows looked weird and then they appeared. Unlike this, where you look, hang on, now everything's just ready to roll. It's, it must be to do with like loading shadows in into like a buffer. Uh, I could just force the shadows to always be potentially um, well that's that's hallway 2 wait a minute oh I'm not playing it sorry <laughs> I thought it was playing mm -hmm. parry bedroom similar sort of thing except I wonder if I can turn that off in real time. I don't think I've got it on tick. No, I don't have it on tick. Hang on. Hey. They could stop going mental. Those monitor screens kind of look like, you know, like TN panels. You know, and the, the black isn't like proper black lighting. So then, yeah, I thought I'd keep that in. Um, John Bed. Room. Well, technically protagonist bedroom. I will change it, but I just mm, I don't want to make more problems for myself. We've already seen this. I've already gone through it, haven't I? It's the same sort of concept. Um, so yeah, same concept again. If you want to know how I'm doing that, I'm just pressing G. Uh, game mode, not game mode. I've got the bathroom so you wouldn't have seen these yet and these will need a little bit more tweaking um certainly with perspective because you see those walls and you're going to see that difference um yeah so uh, um, there we go i had to tweak the the rectangle light a little bit because you see there's a shutter there I do have, when I made that background, I made the shutter at varying lengths, so it fully open, a little bit open, and I think it did about five stages. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to put a, a GitHub task, in that, well, an, an issue, and flag it as an enhancement um, to add that in so you can press a button and you can, uh, yeah, change the, change the shutter, which then means it'll change the lighting dynamically I think that'd be pretty cool um, make a note to do of that um, Sarah's bedroom 
kind of did this before. All I did was tweak it and there, the lamp had shadows, but the dresser did not. So it was like hovering. So I just had to flag it. There we go. Nothing super duper fancy. You've seen that this was the first bedroom I did the that light, uh, the wrecked light logic. Is uh, so Sarah's bedroom, Jackie's bedroom. I believe you've already seen it, but let's load it up. All these creatures won't be in the proper prologue. This was just me. I did, I did dump up all the NPCs and enemies somewhere. And is that the when? A when thing. I think it's the when thing. Uh, yeah, there we go, Parasite Man. Uh, yeah, he's a pretty lad, him, isn't he? Can't eat his tea very well, though, a bit messy. Mm, yeah, it all looks good. Like that. Yeah. I've just noticed none of the dresses have shadows, do they? So we need to click on the sprite. Right, okay, let's fix this in real time. I do have a couple of playlists I haven't done yet where it's like fix a bug in uh, like long play and then create a new feature long play. The plan is when I finally do them to record the full session. Uh, I got the inspiration of some some guy who was just like coding like C for his game. <laughs> real time and he's just smoking cigarettes and looking crazy and he was, he was just like he was almost like a long play um there's hours and hours of him tweaking it i really thought it was a cool idea um so i'll do something like that oh so we want which one's the boss is it john master container is it master does that have the sprite? It does have the sprite. Okay, cast. Huh. So that one has it. So is it the one downstream from it? Or have I just gone and turned it off? Or do I need to flag it each time when I make it a real asset? Huh. Wait a minute. Let's try something. All off. Save. All on. Save. Does that trickle down? I think it just did. Let's check. There you go. Trickle down economics. <laughs> Perfect. Ah, it's already done it. There you go. See the dresser. Let's go into the bathroom. I can think for already. I'd look at Jackie's bathroom, but was it mine? It was mine. You see the shutters higher up, so the shadows are different. She's not looking too good there. She's a bit. She got those nice like, scratchy hands. Yeah, she looked pretty. Okay, yes, yeah, so Jack Jackie's bedroom and bathroom done, and we fixed the. And the cast shadow dingy majiggy, which was like it was on permanent, but I need to flag it on and off. And guard post. Guard, 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 guard post. Levels. Guard post. Save. So there is no wall, there is no window. So what do we do? We have ambient, but I need to turn the shadows off ambient. No, it's not E, is it? It's enter. I know it's nothing special, but I like it. I think it looks pretty cool. Yep. Okay, let's just change it to ambient and we said no shadows, couldn't we? Because we don't really want it to be 
a light like you just you know in games they have they have pitch black but it's not really pitch black or a bit like racing games when you go like 200 miles an hour but you're not really going 200 miles an hour because you won't be able to see anything or at least not at least it would it would look quicker than it is on the game so a similar sort of thing but for like logic um should we see what's in here this time nothing all right realize we're going on tangent but let's have a look at those other let's have a look at the dress the tools let's see what we got <laughs> nothing 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 there's definitely something it's not broken Ankle biter got me. Right. Let's have one more look because I'm determined. If I go back in and out, it might do it, but I think I think it sets it actually from you know like the instance. Mm. Okay, so we didn't get to see what was in there, but on the plus side, that means my code I made ages ago to once you interact with a thingy, a storage, it doesn't um, repopulate. But I will show you it now because I'm that dedicated. There we go. I've got some metal scrap. But I got rid of all the other crafting stuff. There we go. Alright, so yeah. That's lighting done. Done a fair few branches in April. Before April, I hadn't created any of the rooms for ages, and I was getting a bit like, oh my god, I've got to do these rooms. Like, I can't just have these three, these four freaking rooms all the time. I've got to, like, I've got to make the prologue. I've got to make the game. So, next is upper dorms left. So, let's crack open this. Watch it crash the video because it is not performing at all. It is a right state, this thing. But, you know, you'll see what I mean. I think it uses like a gazillion gig of RAM. Oh, it's going to break, isn't it? Right, let's not mess about because it's probably going to break it. Look how slow it is. I need to tidy this room right up. But... Yeah, so you see things are different. So you see where the cafeteria was and the storeroom and the guard post. We'll put them on the lower part of the stairs with the kitchen. Because the kitchen is inside the cafeteria. Um, should be like that. But you don't go in the kitchen in, prologue, in the prologue. And this makes me think, why on earth did I make the kitchen yet <laughs> so far? But yeah. So I made something for Act 1 already. So we had the upper and lower stairs, didn't we? Um, oh, let's show you it just so being good. Uh, gee. So we've got the upper and lower stairs. There's the upper lower stairs. So we are going to be working on upper dorms left. This one. This was one of the first, <laughs> the one of the very first things, um, a bit like Robin Orwellian sort of, is it Orwellian like Big Brother 1984, like trust, you must trust us, um, probably get rid of that now, um, one of the very initial ideas, um, yeah, good old days. So we'll do that one. Lower domes. Oh yeah. Yep, so we'll do upper domes, then lower domes. I need to rearrange the bedrooms. Originally, Sarah, Sarah, Jackie, a couple of other, uh, oh, oh, essentially all the other bedrooms except from the protagonist were due to be in dormitories. And then the protagonist bedroom is like, oh, it was like this like closet. <laughs> seen Harry Potter when it's under the stairs a bit like that a bit like his bedrooms an afterthought um, so I've tweaked it a little bit created separate rooms some of them like uh, Craig and Pete and David and a few others um, 
Johnny. Oh, I can't remember everyone. They will be in like the upper dorms, lower dorms. Some people are lucky enough to have bedrooms in terms of the the low reason for it. Um, first come, first serve. Look at the draw. Sort of thing. Uh, that's it. That's what we've got planned. Then recreation room. Oops. Down. And hallway version 2. So cut this in half. We'll do version 2. The rearranging of everything will be another branch. Which is... It'll be after camera projection. We do rearranging now. I'll put another branch thing in now. That. But... Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for your time. And... That's it. For now. I'll see you in the next one.